today here in Michigan it's almost 50 degrees. So I'm going to get out to the great outdoors and enjoy it as much as I can. There's no snow to shovel, obviously I can't cut the grass. So another way to get some exercise outside while enjoying the great outdoors, I'm going to rake the snow off of my roof. This is a roof rake. It usually comes with a plastic tip. It's 10 foot long, however it comes in sections that clip together. I tape them just for extra security. And it's beveled. There's a reason for this. Not only getting exercise or cleaning the snow off the roof, or, or doing something, there's a proper way to use this. If you use it wrong, you can hurt your back. As you see, I have a belt, so I protect my back. I'm not, I always recommend protecting your back. I'm not saying you have to have a belt or you're gonna hurt yourself. But I see a lot of people just sticking the rake up on the roof and pulling it down, getting the snow down, just like this. But if you see, what's the rake doing? It's naturally dropping. The full weight of it's dropping every time I pull it off. Now, when you get to the back to the 10 foot back end of this, and you have this whole 10 foot length drop, you have a lot of forceful weight there that's jerking on your back. And you're going to tire yourself up before you even finish the roll. It flexes and it's bowed and beveled at the end on both. Again, the rake, as you see, is beveled. Think of it as a fish hook. You push it up, set it, pull it down. Push it up, it goes up over the snow pull it, it sets, it's beveled this way, so you can, you don't have to pull it off the roof, you go up with it, and it, it flexes, I'm not sure if you see that over there, but anyway, as you go up, drop it, it sets, pull, and another key tip is, don't pull straight, sometimes you might find it coming off the end, slightly pull it on an angle, then when you see your corner that you have angled come off the roof, you know when to stop. You don't have to pull it fast. The snow's going to come. Anyway, just pull it. There. The tip of it's off. I usually just do a little bit. And again, if I just push it straight up on the roof, I have a low roof. You might not. It'll go up over the snow. I, I just, it just did. Then I'm going to pull it back and it's going to set itself. See all the snow? My tip's off the corner. Protect yourself while protecting your home or your property and enjoying the outdoors.